Hiya, you all right? What an idiot I am. I've just went to the gym to do a spinning class and I've been doing this Friday class for a long time and I went for the wrong time. What's that about? I went for 6.45, it starts at 6.30. I don't know where my brain's been. So I've come home and I'm gonna make a 10 minute fish curry. Honestly, quickest fish curry you've ever made in your life. Five ingredients. I'm gonna use bassa fillets. Prawns, coconut milk, um, tikka masala paste, pot, and some frozen spinach. This bag of prawns, 450 grams, was five pound, because you get 50% free. I'm gonna defrost about half of them. I'm gonna put some rice on, we're having boiled rice. There's about 500 grams of rice, and we're gonna rinse it. So make sure you rinse your rice three or four times through. Pour off the excess water. Rinse it again and repeat. Now cover it well with cold water and put the heat on. I'm expecting the curry to be ready before the rice. So get your rice on first. This is how I always make boiled rice. Other people might not, but this works for me. I've defrosted five blocks of spinach, just in the microwave. Comes in a bag, like this, of frozen blocks. We're gonna fry off one of the little paste pots. I think I got this in Aldi, I think they were 99p or a pound, and it's a tikka masala one. Use whatever kind you like. It has to be a paste, not a sauce and I think Patax is a really good paste. So empty all of your little pot into your pan. Now by using one of these, all your spices have been pounded for you, mixed with oil, all the hard work's done. If you didn't use this, you'd have to use a load of different spices. I'll tell you what was what's in here. So you would need turmeric, paprika, cumin, coriander, it says spices, garlic powder, cumin seeds, dried coriander leaf, dried fenugreek, tamarind. All that is in that paste. So you're saving yourself some money because that's a lot of spices if you're not going to use them all the time. Fry this paste off just for a minute or two. Just let them warm through. Now add in your frozen spinach, squeeze the water out, you don't want all that water, into the pan. Make sure your hands are clean, someone's bound to say, have you washed your hands? Yes I have. Now put in a tin of coconut milk. Just let it all come together. Just bring it up to a boil. I've defrosted these bassa fillets. These were one ninety nine for a bag in Aldi. Chop them up. Now add your fish to the curry sauce. Now this literally is only going to take minutes to cook. Now look at your rice. Taste it. Almost done. And when it's just done, you're going to drain it in a sieve, put it back in the pan with the lid on until you're ready for it. That's it. So I'm just hanging about now, I'm waiting for the rice to be done, the sauce is done. And I'll put the prawns in last minute because they just need heated through because they're cooked. There, so I've drained it. Just put a lid on until you're ready for it. So there's around about 200 grams of prawns there going in just to warm through. Doesn't the pink look pretty against the green? Well, I think it does. And we're just warming them through and it's done. 10 minute fish curry. A little taste.
just another minute because the prawns are not quite hot enough. Don't tell us about double dipping either. It's my tea and Ian doesn't care if I've double dipped. plate up. Here's the rice. If you want sticky rice just don't rinse it. But how good does this look? Who needs takeaway? How good does that look? Just put a bit of naan bread with it. Let's have a taste. A bit of fish. You know what? You would never know that was frozen. The key is don't overcook it. If you overcook your fish, you'll ruin it and it'll just be like chewing rubber. And your prawns will go all cotton woolly and horrible. There's loads of sauce. Right, I'm going to have this now. Whatever you're doing, have a brilliant night as always. I'm going to have a wine, are you? I think I will. Have a lovely night. Enjoy your tea, whatever it is. If you make this, send us your pictures. But I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like and share. Bye-bye.